we are up at the Pigots Cricket Grounds or the playing field with the home of the Pigots Crushers and today we're going to have a brief chit chat with Mr. Ajani Frederick, the head coach of the Pigots Crushers but today we're not going to be focusing on Pigots Crushers um, we're going to look at a program, the CWI of Cricket West Indies on the on the 18 cluster. I think there are um, four clusters or something across Antigua where they are specifically focused on female cricket. But let's just do a brief introduction. Mr. Frederick, welcome. So you're making strides as a coach, young in the business. I would say young coach, not young individual per se, but young coach. Welcome and thank you for taking time off your busy schedule to speak with us this afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. So tell us the program. How did you come about that program? Well, to be honest, I was introduced to by um, Steve. Um, Steve is a part of Cricket West Indies and he told me about there's no more to tell about this program than he is a program with the assistant coach who would figure the team and he tell me if I want to get into coaching people. I said no problem, give me give me what it's all about. Um, let me let me try it out and we had a little discussion, sat down um, within a within a week or two, everything was formalized. What's the difference between coaching females and males? Or two male. It's it's more fragile. Um, it's have to be more detailed because they have different emotions. At the same time, they cricketers. Um, they are willing to learn. They're gonna make the effort. As you know, they're not really coordinative to say some of them because once you're not playing sport, uh, running around as young people, you don't need that coordinated. So. It's more like teaching them the game from basic grassroots. So from so from the onset, you had any um, any serious difficulty in adjusting from the male into the into the, the female aspect? Not really. Um, I'm flexible. I'm, yeah, the challenge is for coaching female. It's different from males or boys because. Because they're not, they're not running around a lot um, in the modern era because they have distractions from computer and they want to do schoolwork and they're not playing more outdoor sports. Remember with netball and so it's not around. So it would be difficult. It's not difficult, but it's just a challenge that is worth it. So what, ha what have you... You guys made up your mind on what you're all gonna call the your cluster? Yes, we're gonna call Lady Crushers. Uh, and a, I think it's a perfect fit for the female brand. It sells more as a female brand, they, they gravitate towards it more, um, the ladies. So as we as we as I said earlier before, we're gonna call it Lady Crushers. And I, I would think that is part of the of the um, how do you call it? Since you all, since the male side is the crushers, the pigots crushers is all part of the the, yeah, pigot, the pigots brand. brand it's part yeah, it's part of the pigot the pigots brand, pigot sports club. I mean, Correct. yeah. So, in terms of interest numbers, what do they look like? Well, currently we are at thirty six in terms of overall participate participation, and on a we our, our highest turnout on a one day was 23. Uh, 23 would be below, um, above above 50 percent, so I would consider that yeah. a, a, a good turnout. Even if, even if you're averaging a 40, 40, 45 percent, that would still be yeah, a, po a, posi a positive note for a program that just started. It's the first time. Where the where the other clusters are located? You have any? So seemingly next next season 2022 
or later in 2021 we should see female or, or young female cricket start starting to show up in, yes, in different in different yes, definitely. Um, different areas it's uh based on the program it is it's going to be a 22 weeks 22 sessions program but um we as a club or we have we are formed with YT, YT. We are collab with them. Um, is a collab. YT, the youth yeah, development. Yes, correct. The youth, the youth development. Yes, um, it's a collab. Um, we are collabing with them um, to, to in terms of get this program really successful. What are we looking at in terms of the session that's going to be going After that, we're going to continue it. It's going to be a lifetime, so it's going to be a part of our. Or program our uh, club program. So, so this this particular um, like camp format is something like a starter kit to to what you all really want to do. Yes, correct. It's more like a, they, they're looking for national players. Um, they, I said they put it in four different base, four different clusters. I said they're looking for national players on on a 19 national player team mm -hmm. they want to create um antigua on 19 then a little bit on 19 then we try to represent west Indies on 19 at world cup 2022 welcome on uh on the 19 welcome so the well, age is now most likely we, we target our target age is preferably between 14 to 16 17 from the age because they have little more time to develop and, and that, that would be that would be perfect. At least you have a goal that you're looking forward to, and everybody would see something that they're looking forward to. Correct. Where the opportunity can arise, and they will get, they will have it. Yes, definitely. So, Frederick, um, your that's a very interesting program, and I have had the opportunity to stop by something last week and just take a, a quick peek as to what was what was happening. But in terms of um, Support of support or what we call parental support for the for the young ladies. Are you seeing that? Are you are you seeing that with the current camp as it's going? That is fantastic, actually. Um, they they actually come. Some of them spend the whole day. Some of them just make sure they bring the the, the, the kids to the program. Um, and it's important for us to have a little relationship relationship with the parent because in terms of growth, they want to know. Okay, they they are comfortable with it, with it where they go in and the environment where they're going to. So once they're comfortable with the environment, they are gonna support anything holistically as a, as a parent. Because over the years over the years there was that complaint that persons just come, drop off their kids, roll out, come back, pick them up and that and the interest in, in actual sport playing or being there present looking at seeing what's or developing that rapport that you that, okay. that you mentioned developing that rapport with the with the club or with the with uh, with the with the camp system that's happening with the persons in charge of it and that kind of stuff to see to follow the development uh, other other groups who complain that they like football so they don't see that kind of that kind of development but we don't have that issue no not as yet we um and we don't i don't see it coming because it's a new program and they're eager for their their girls who do well and, and be a part of something that's good something that's new also in antigua so once it's new you're going to gravitate towards it more as a family but there's a bonus to it that um it's all it's it's actually it's endorsed or it was it came from the the cwi program and i yes, think sir. i yes. think that that is so, that is something that who wouldn't want to who wouldn't want to be with the highest brand in the region anyway exactly <laughs> so how many how many sessions you've had for so far we have gone 10 sessions so you uh, just about halfway through yeah just about Twice a week, Wednesdays from three to five, three p.m. to five p.m., and Saturdays from nine a.m. to midday. So Wednesday and Saturday is Wednesday and Saturday a one like no, a week, or it's two separate sessions? Two separate. Two sessions. separate. Yeah. Okay. All right. So technically speaking, you're looking for great things from your girls. Yeah. Well, we actually put in the extra effort with them. Um, if they need extra. We always have to help after class at school. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're, we're tutoring them, and if you want extra work, we can make sure you're 
make ourselves present once we have time to put in extra work with them. Right. So, what's what's your your support your support unit like? It's a really fantastic unit. Um, we have six coaches, six certified coaches. Um, we have a mentor, and we also have the president back in. Once the president back in you of the club, You're everything is everything else is going to be flowing easy. Right, right. Send it to back back into James. Um, one, she's holistically and she's a female too so you know they think there should be that that attraction yes correct <laughs> it's a female thing so she want to be a part of it also <laughs> right right and we also have a female coach we have two female coaches two female coaches so that that shows that um, a lot of females are getting involved in sport in sports in in Antigua holistically yes, not definitely. just football but you know we have uh, female cricket coaches and that kind of stuff so it really looks like the female aspect of it is going to, it's definitely going to bloom in the near future. And I think that program is like the thing for now. Yeah, correct. It's, it's, it's the trending program for now in terms of cricket in Antigua because now is the best time because cricket is not playing now. You have little time and no other sport to distract them, to say, as a team sport. So you use this avenue now to actually get out the house and, and do something that is constructive and that is worth it. Uh, Johnny Frederick, for persons who don't know who he is, he is the head coach of the Pigots Crushers, and yes, we are standing at the Pigots playing field. It's a it's a pretty decent venue. Have some nice memories over here, myself in the cricket arena. Both, yeah, of course, against um, a journey. Yeah, we did enjoy sometimes, and we're discussing. Well, we're just going through briefly the new program that they have going on which is the lady crushers program which is actually uh, on on the 18 on the 19 on, on the, the 18 on the 8 on the 18th female program where the CWI has stepped in and put that thing out so there are four clusters in Antigua and yeah we are focusing on lady crushers this afternoon as to where they go in where they started and what they expect of course you heard earlier that they're looking forward to having competitions and then getting the best out of the best and looking forward to maybe a bigger camp to get ready for you know in serious serious cricket business serious cricket business now Ajani you you coach male before and then you come coaching female not that it is just a male to female but the age range is also have the age range also have a huge difference in correct, it correct. it has a huge difference in it and we have to say we have to say kudos to persons like you who will take up the the responsibility to make a change at a younger age where i always say that is where we need the change to be made the change need to be made from from the root and it will blossom into something Correct. something really nice that that we want so out of your out of your cluster out of your cluster how you see how you see the different um segment of the game like your bowlers your batsman your wicket keeper your, your different segment of it how you see them developing well currently we are we making everybody doing everything so because it's a development stage, we want the boy to participate in bowling, batting, feeding, we keep it. So it, it's going to be easier so we can identify your, your best skill after maybe 11 weeks, 11 sessions, 12 sessions. We can identify, okay, you, you favorite the wicket keeping, you look like a more fast bowler, you can be a, a specialist batman, you can be a half spinner. So you can identify, you can be a better, you high catcher, so you can more likely on, on the boundary. You're more aggressive player, so you can be more in, inside the inside the circle. You um maybe a, a outspoken person, you maybe can be captain. So we look for either we look for all these aspects, captaincy, leadership skills. We look for um, just team bonding skills. Um, how how can we get the ladies involved as a group instead of individual? So that is a holistic um, approach we take. We're going to be developing a team. Yeah, correct. So, 
how many of them um, may have in the past or let me just rephrase how many have cricketing experience from your cluster um, you can say about four 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 so far four five say five yeah we have some we don't only have um, on the 18 we have some senior senior girls also we have about um, three senior ladies also right up works along with the, the so it actually helps it helps the, the young ones now too this is the way to go then right because they also i think the female program will start kick start shortly i can't put it right for national team um, so they actually just trying to get themselves in shape because this is the only form of cricket they can be playing now because there's no water cricket in antigua right now that is true competitive cricket sport or cricket in antigua at the moment so you basically have siblings that have no clue what the world is about and you're dealing with them yeah correct so definitely that's that's where you need that's where you want the 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 real grooming to take place the difference put it in put it in their brain early and it will always be a little difficult in getting new things but once they're open-minded you expect you, and they and they're young and the goal is out there they can they can see it they will they if they want it enough everything will come their way so ladies and gentlemen we've been, I've been speaking with Johnny Frederick now <laughs> question uh, you're going to be continue to um, coaching Pigot's crushes right yes oh okay so Okay. Yeah. As a part of this, as a part of the program, we're gonna have to incorporate the two teams now. Actually, three gonna be three teams because we have the parish league team, we have the first class team, and we have the female team. We also thinking about um, adding a youth system uh, on the thirteen. We're looking at putting some things in place um, for on the thirteen team. So that's in the pipeline of planning and because you need continuity in everything here we do life. Right. Because once once the senior players go off. Mm -hmm. What happened? You next? need replacements. Correct. So, and so, it, yep, it's called a sustainable program. Yes, exactly. And that is something that everybody is looking for. Even in businesses, you're looking for I think, I sustainable think method. Clubs in Antigua is also good, um, on board with the same program. Um, I know Libra, we spoke to, I spoke to Kenneth pertaining this. We spoke to, we had a little discussion because um, I, I tried to speak to different coaches to get experience in terms of how, what's, what's best. There's no best practice. There's your, there's, but there's the ideas mm -hmm. of how how you do things. So, on a holistic um, point um, perspective, I look at cricket holistically because they don't have no right and wrong way to do it. But they have, in terms of their coaching staff, but they have a way to get it, get influence to influence your um, player to get the best out of them, him or her. Right. So, Ajani, Fe Ajani Frederick, head coach of Pigot's Crushers, he's the, well, not, yeah, he's the cricket coach, the cricket head coach for the Pigot Sports Club. So, now he, he will be leading the Pigot's Crushers, the senior team first class, the parish league team, um, near future, seemingly that he'll have his junior team and his female team, well, technically speaking. So, females, females will be... Uh, an integral part of their network and we will be keeping abreast with what's happening in the developments and of course later um, in the very near future we will be featuring different individuals who participate in the program as they move along and getting closer to, to the program so Mr. Frederick any final words how can they find you if persons are interested and just give them all the information that they need you can contact us as, um, on facebook because crushers uh, because sport club on facebook you can contact um Rene Ambrose. she's a part of ytd you can contact um bakisha center back into james francis she's a part of the Pickett Sports Club also president. You can contact myself. Uh, my number is 724-4741. 724-4741. You can call me 
any information you need, you can inbox me also. You can inbox me at Ajani Frederick uh, at Facebook, um, Ajani Frederick at IG also. Yeah, and if you miss all that, you can just show up at Pigot's Playfield Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon Wednesday from 12 to 5 or Saturday from 9 to 12, 9 to 1? No, sir. Wednesday is at 3 to, 3 to 5. Wednesday is at 3 to 5. Oh, my Saturday bad. Saturday is from 9, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay. So, right here you have it. Development taking place. Pigot's playing field. Head coach, Ajani Frederick, giving you some enlightening, encouraging, and really good info real good information here right now and as i said we will be back we will continue that continue following that development and of course you will start seeing the people the, the persons so follow them on facebook instagram um ytd on facebook and instagram pigots sports club on facebook Ajani Frederick on facebook instagram Rene ambrose on facebook instagram linkedin you will find her just find her send any one of them a message and boom. you'll be hooked up everything will work out for you you'll get to know what you want to do get in the game don't miss it out frederick thank you very much thank you for having me